Yo, what's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius back with another Prodigy video. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to get a squabble in Prodigy. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. To start off with, a squabble evolves from a squibble at level 17. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have yourself a squabble. Now I did make a video on how to catch a squabble. You guys can check that video out and see if it works. But what you can do is you can spend 20,000 yards on the merchant, right? You, as you guys can see, I have myself a level 91 squibble. Now with this level 91 squibble, I'm gonna make it reach level 92. And now once the squibble reaches level 92, it will start to evolve into a squabble and then a squirrel. I'm gonna stop it at squabble because I want myself a squabble, not a squirrel. Right guys, and another thing is that the squ squibble evolves into a squabble at level 17. Right, so if your squibble is level 18, 19 or above, well it will evolve. Unless it's a level 100 because you can't evolve level 100s. But if your squibble is at a level 99 and you make it reach level 100, well, it will evolve into a squabble or a squirrel, right? So it depends on you whether you want to stop the evolution or not. But if you stop the evolution, it won't evolve any further on level 100. So what you want to do is you kind of want to evolve your pets before like level 98, that's all. But yeah, let's get straight to it. So the first thing which we need to do, all right guys, so here we go. We're in a battle against Pippet. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to level up my squibble in this battle and then battle some monsters in Firefly Force, okay? So let's click that next button and fight Mr. Pippet. Monster battle. Falling star smash. Okie dokie, so we've just answered our question correct and looks like we shall be doing approximately 4,881 damage, which is approximately 5,000 damage. Looks like Pippet did 1,000 damage, that's 1 twelfth of our health, that's super weak. I mean, even the enemy monsters in Prodigy do more than 1,000 damage. But yeah, here we go. We're launching another attack at Pippet and obliterating him. So it looks like that's another 4,861 damage. And if we estimate, we've already done approximately 10,000 damage to Pippet. Right, so let's cast another Falling Star Smash and see how much more damage we can do to Mr. Pippet. Right, okie dokie, so it looks like we did another 5,000 damage to Pippet. Now, I think Pippet's health is at 15,000, because we just did approximately 15,000 damage to him. Can we all take a moment to look at Pippet's face? I mean, what is up with the face animation? I mean, like, what is up with that face animation? What's wrong with you, Pippet? And currently, as of right now, it looks like Pippet has 20,000 health. Because we attacked Pippet four times with attacks which did almost 5,000 damage. And as you guys can see, our Squibble is super close to leveling up. Here comes our 10 member stars. Hopefully, they'll tip the scales. Yes, they have. Our 10 member stars have tipped the scales. And it looks like Mr. Squibble is evolving into Mr. Squabble. Mr. Squimster, Mr. Mr. Squabble. Yeah, let's just stop it from evolving any further and there we go guys we have gotten ourselves a squabble right so now we have a squabble let's see how good mr squabble is against pets in firefly forest i mean bonfire spire so first of all let's tell you guys your statistics on mr squabble right so over here it says apparently squibbles unlike squabbles are known to challenge other squabbles over touristy and favorite sport teams are you kidding me? So these guys are gonna fight each other if like, if they think one sport team is better? Ha! Let's duel to find out who's better! Right, so if you head to its statistics, it has a huge health. If you head to its statistics, its power to health ratio is that of an ember shed. As we all can see, it evolved into a squirrel at level 33. So now, let's check out our information on it in our pet team. And at level 92, it has 8,121 hearts. Its element is water. It can cast a spell, Toronto Down Portal, and Snowling Ball, along with one other spell. So yeah, let's do some battles with him. First of all, let me equip him as my first pet. Bam, bop, beep. And let's head down over here and do two or three battles. Right, so first of all, as you guys can see, looks like we have Mr. Tiger over here. So let's go into monster battle against Mr. Tiger. As you guys saw, we just did 4,500 damage. 
that is half of the squibble's health and over half of the tiny girl's health. So the squibble's power ratio right now is almost um, 60%. Right, so here we go. We've just casted the same spell again. And looks like we just two-shotted the tiny girls without even taking a single amount of damage. That is absurd, right? So this pet is super good against fire-type pets. And I think it may do fairly well against an ember shed as well. So has the ember shed found itself a worthy opponent? Well, it looks like it has. Right, okay, let's get, a, let's get ourselves our 10 member stars and see if our Paradoxius will level up in our next battle. Right, so it looks like we got some hot hots, a heavy robe. I mean, guys, I have so many robes in Prodigy, it's like crazy, okay? But over here, as you guys can see, there's another tiny girl, so let's head into a battle with this guy. And then head to somewhere safe so I can show you guys my robes. Right, let's cast the spell Toronto and see how much damage we'll do. Right, guys, so we've answered my question correctly. And it seems that this tiny girl can produce flames up to four times its size in Prodigy. Well, all I can say is that it's pretty weak against a squibble. It's pretty weak against a squibble. Because this guy does so much damage, it's absurd. And it looks like it can cast two water spells and two snow spells. That's not too shabby at all. So let's use Snowling Ball and see how much damage we'll do to Mr. Tiny Girl. Okie dokie, artichokey. So I've just answered my question, Crux. And looks like we shall be casting the spell Snowling Ball, which has done 3000 damage to Mr. Tiny Girl. Now all that's left to do is to cast down portal and then we shall have casted every single spell on Mr. Tiny Girl to obliterate him. Okay, here we go. We've answered our spell correctly and looks like we've gotten ourselves another achievement and guys, this account is super close to getting all of the achievements in Prodigy. You know what? There should be a there should be an award in Prodigy for getting every single achievement in the game, like catching 100 monsters. I got that. Like answering Right, there should be an achievement for getting all of the math questions in Prodigy, right? Because that's what I'm almost about to do. I've done all of 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. I only have 7th and 8th to complete, right? Right, so that battle is complete. You know, that wasn't too bad of a battle. That was pretty good. Right, so now let's move to safety so I can show you guys my armors. Right, so if you head to our armors over here, as you guys can see, I have 5 cloth robes, 4 heavy armors, holy guacamole! Yep, guys, I've been playing Prodigy for, like, well over four years now. So, as you guys can see, I have a lot of stuff in Prodigy, right? This isn't as much as I want. I mean, there's a lot of stuff still to collect. But, yeah, that is a lot of stuff. That's, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20. Yeah, so it takes 27 clicks to scroll down through all of my armor. And as you guys can see, I have a whole lot of armor, right? Not only do I have a whole lot of armor, I also have a whole lot of items, right? So as you guys can see over here, I have 99 tin cans, 99 tooths, 96 socks, 99 large scales, 73 fireflies, which is insane, right? This shows how long I've been playing Prodigy to get 99 of each of these things, right? And if you scroll down, I have 44 confetti, 77 fireworks, 62 ice crystals and then i have 99 brown morph marbles right so this shows you guys how long i've been playing prodigy or grinding on prodigy that i have 99 of everything this is kind of ridiculous and guys here's a tiny thing but did you guys know that there's a thing called gold in prodigy which isn't which is completely useless as you guys can see over here i have 974 gold and now if you click on it it shows nothing so basically, this is some sort of weird item which you get in Prodigy by completing battles. And yes, I do have every single currency in Prodigy which we were given. Right, I have the Titan Shards, I have the Wooden Logs which you could only get from the Lost Island, I have the Dragonflies, I have almost 622 Copper Coins. Guys, do you see the 622 Copper Coins? That is absurd, right? So yeah, I've been playing Prodigy for a while. And that's all for today's video, hope you did enjoy this, and if you didn't, don't forget to smack ring that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below. And yeah.